aliens right there. Did the door just open? Is there no- is the oxygen- come on? What? Has he killed the people? What the f- what the f- there's a guy there. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to Alien Isolation. In the last part, we made our way back onto this, um, the tower with Ricardo and we're trying to now communicate with the Torrens, the ship we initially left to get onto this tower. We left one um, crew member on board, so she has left a message to us to say that she's seen explosions and stuff, asking for anyone that can um, that she can help. And we're trying to contact her back now. We're in the comms station. It's all being reset and it should be working. So hopefully... Damn it. Shit. I can't get past the lockdown. Keep on it. That ship's up there waiting for us. Apollo won't let me in. Try your codes again. Okay. Okay. So these guys are a threat. These are trying to take over the torrents instead of us. They're just they're desperate to get off this same um, tower just to um, get to safety. So they're gonna call in the torrents if they can, but they haven't got the access codes. So we're gonna have to probably take these guys out, I think. So we're looking. We're actually heading towards the observatory and not the actual comms control. So I think we're gonna actually sneak past these people. You feel safe? I, sure is I mean, if they if that was the console we were heading for where they are. We obviously would um, take them out, <laughs> but it seems like we've got a better idea and we've got access to do it somewhere else. So we're going to go around this side, leave them guys to not complete the task they're trying to do. So we go. Let's use the iron torch on this. Some close quarters here, let's get the shotgun out in case we need to blast anyone. Right, there's a dead body there. What happened to this guy? He's been shot, honey, or is he being impaled by the alien? So we're gonna climb up the ladder, I think. We're heading to the observatory tower, aren't we? Use the tracking system to find the torrents, alright. So the, tor the torrents in the general um, area, observation platform, P match input with up, down, left and right to X to confirm. How do we do this? Match input and press X to confirm. Oh, so you hold it and then, ah I see, so you hold it and when it's in it, you press X, I get it. when it flashes on. There we go. All random letters and numbers to me. Uh, this one's flashing now. Use L to control docking alignment. Press X to engage. What are we trying to lock in? Are we going to get the circles to match? I think we're getting the circles to match, right? There we go. So the, what are we doing? We're looking for the GPS, aren't we, of Torrens to see where it is. So that the observatory tower is going up, just to get a better view <laughs> on top of the tower. Have we, have we got it? Here we go. We can commence deep space scan. So let's get this circle aligned and then we'll press X when they join up. Close enough. Thank God. Ricardo, I found them. Now we've got to align the dishes to the Torrens position manually. Jack, I'm going outside. We've got to manually align the dishes. So we've got to go outside with our spacesuit on, haven't we? How do we go outside? Did something? Yep. Let's climb down. Right, so these people are still going to be downstairs and um, hopefully they won't be blocking our path. Right, let me just look at the map and yeah, we've got to go quite a distance here to actually get to the exit. To where we're going to leave the ship. The tower. You call this a tower, right? This door's the longest door ever. That's like a loading screen, really. That's what the whole why it takes long sometimes. It's like a disguised loading screen. 
I can unlock the entrance to the airlock from here. Give me a sec. Oh, this is the airlock. That's good. There, got it. So hopefully we should be able to just get there now, nice and safe. Here's our spacesuit. Save points as well. In case it all goes Pete Tong. Got the ID tag, ID tag, why not? So let's save the game. Alright, so the exit now. Do we need to get a suit first? I guess we do, right? We're heading outside, so let's get a suit. There we go, so we've got our suit. We can't actually look at the um, motion tracker when we've got the suit on. Alright, so this is the airlock. This door's gonna open now and it's gonna be space. We're gonna float about and manually align the dishes. So here we are. What's that? Oh, we're gonna see some alien. Is that what is that thing that's fallen then? Is that just debris? Yeah, I thought it was an alien flying across. So hopefully we're going the right way. There's only one way to go, so it's hard to be going the wrong way, I guess. Is that just falling apart? Look at that, it's just floating away. That's gonna smash into that, isn't it? it Cause some serious damage. Dish maintenance. And it's nice that it's labelled for us. I've got a clue where I'm going. We can't look at the, um, the motion detector anymore. To... We guess we can look at the map, right? Yeah, we're going the right way anyway. <laughs> so we're going to jump in this, um, this lift. Where's the terminal? Is it further ahead? Or is it this here? I think it's best this button here. It's going to open the terminal. Yep. So the Torrens coordinates we're going to input here. Let's hope that um, Ripley knows what they are because I have no idea. Servo lock on. Parabolic antenna in fixed position. Damn it! It's fixed. So it's locked, so we got to remove the lock. Is it going to be this way? Yeah, we got to go down, the, down these stairs. Unlock the um, the fixed position on the antenna. There we go. So we got dish maintenance. The um, controls up there. We just come down the stairs, and we're going into dish maintenance. Can we turn the lights on? It's very dark. These switches are lit up, so I'm guessing we're pulling these. Powered up clamp release. Unlock emergency clamp. So it's very dark. You, you can't turn the flashlight on. You can't see shit. What's this? Reboot array clamp controls. There we go. So is this now gonna be usable? I think that's still powering up still. It's making a lot of different noises. Here we go, it's gone blue. Oh shit. And the window's open. Can we access any of this? Powered up clamp release. So we've got to do all these I think first and then we'll do the big lever on the left hand side. That one. We've got to do these first. It's a weird procedure. Why would they make three levers instead of just one? But I guess it's to make sure that you know what you're doing. <laughs> you can't accidentally press it. Alright, we're done in here, right? So we've unlocked the fixed um, position on the, the satellite. And I think... Why is it moving now? Did we already input the um, coordinates upstairs? Let's quickly... Yeah, we got to go back up now and input the coordinates. Okay, guys, we've unlocked the um, satellite now, so we should be able to change its coordinates. So we can find where the Torrens is. Use left to select the coordinates and press X to, to input. 
What are the coordinates, though? Oh, it's on the screen next to us, I think. Torrance coordinates. Coordinate conversion input 35A. Is that an option on the screen? 35? So let's move this to 35. Okay, we have to go back the other way. I think it's 35, right? We can't change the top one, it looks like. So we put on that. Confirm. Oh no. Oh no, the top one now. Okay, does it say on the screen? 75. 75? Okay, let's put on 75. <laughs> That's, is that what I am? What's his name? The guy? What's his, oh, I forgot the guy's name. Roger? Is this Ricardo? Is that what Ricardo is telling us? 75, 75. So 75 is about there, right? Between 80 and 70. Am I doing this right? So we're going to send us to McDonald's instead. <laughs> I think we did it right, yeah. God. So I wonder how big the signal is on this as well. If the tones is like 10 million miles away, will it spot it? Torrance, Torrance, this is Ripley on the station. Are you reading me, Verlaine? Bad things, Torrens. There's an alien organism here. It's deadly. We need urgent extraction. A what? There's no time to explain. Please, Verlaine. There's nowhere for us to dock, Ripley. The station's tearing free from its gravity mooring. I've seen a towing platform below the space flight terminal, but the Torrens umbilical isn't built for it. You'll need to extend the tow platform clamp station side. Just get into position. Find a way for the Torrance to dock. All right, we're heading back in. Yeah, we're heading back. We're going back to Ricardo. I feel like Ricardo's not going to make this. All right, so we've got to. Um, I'm probably going to have to make a jump across to the Torrance at some point. We're not going to just connect it and dock on the way you meant to proceed your way. We're probably going to have to make some like action jump towards it because it's not built to connect properly to the station, the docking points that we're thinking of. Because it's fucked. We've got the long ass walk back to the station now. Alright guys, we've finally made it back to the door. So you can enter the um, the tower. And oh, now we got to go back to Ricardo. And hopefully we can escape this place together and get back on the Torrens. Alright, let's get this suit off. Alright, so we took our suit off. We've got a save point again. So if we, if we die right outside this door, we haven't got to do the whole... Outdoor space shit again, which takes forever because you can only walk at like one mile per hour. So uh, we're going to muck up again. Hopefully those guys are pissed off by now with the shotguns and all that shit. Ready to leave. We're leaving. Ricardo, Ricardo, do you copy? Ricardo, come in. What happened to? Go kind of went. I don't know if his throat got caught or. If this, the transmission cut off, the people are still inside there, so we gotta be careful not to get spotted. So we gotta go back to where. Oh, fuck this. Aliens right there. Did the door just open? Is there no. Is there oxygen? Come on. What, has he killed the people? What the. What the. There's a guy there. Emergency. Please attend your assigned oh. evacuation point and await instructions. No way. All right, so the aliens mooching around there. Oh uh, no, that's not that's not smart. So the aliens right on the other side. There he is. So we're gonna. All right, he's walking back down. We've got a locker behind us in the room we just came from. Right, the aliens walking. Which way are we going? So we're going down the stairs here, and we're going right, exactly where he's going. So let's push forward a little bit first. Let's get down to that level. Is there any desk we can hide behind? 
Oh, nice. There's a little hole here. Can we get through this? Use, 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 use. Get in, get in. Nice. Okay, so we're underneath it. Hopefully we can climb out at a safe point. Yeah, okay. So, as long as the alien's not directly above us, we're umping this. If he goes downstairs, it'd be great. Can we see him from here? I think he's still on the upper level, which is where we want to come out of that. Okay, the alien's just um, spotted some more other survivors and he's gone for them. So hopefully, there we go. We got ours anyway, we're underneath a desk. And the alien's right next to us. There is still another bit of movement in the distance. You can see the edge of the screen. So we're, maybe, if he makes some noise, the alien will go track him down. All right. We're looking to come out the desk now and go to the right. There's a vent over there where I'm aiming. And we're going to try and get inside there. Because we need to go upstairs anyway once you get out. Uh, the alien's walked off a little bit now. So this is our little window now to move out. Move out. Shit, is he coming back? He's, got, oh, he's, he's in the far side. Right, nice, nice. He's gone to the other side. So we can get inside here. The guy that he was chasing now has engaged him. So we've got a bit of time on our hands. Hopefully if he stays down there now, we can be free from him for a little bit of time. See, we, we have been here before, so we I kind of do know the layout of this place a little bit. Actually, no shit, we need to go back downstairs, don't we? So as long as he stays there, we can go down these stairs and we can... Um... Shit, the door's locked. Can we go this way? Can we open the door with this terminal? Please say yes. Okay, so we can't actually get open this door. Like this door right here, it leads downstairs. And we need to be downstairs. I was thinking this would be a better way, a route to take. A safer route, but... Hold well, on, let's check this. I don't think it's going to work, but we can check it. Camera feed, air purification. Pff, turn them off, why not? Yeah, there's no door access. So we're going to jump in the vents again. I really still do not understand what air purification means. I think it's just that it's just there for like cosmetic reasons. It doesn't actually affect anything to the player. So, let's see where the alien's movement is. Can we see it anywhere? It's not anywhere too close. So, we're going to come out. We're going to try and move out quickly and get in this lift. Because that's the door there that was going to be. The stairs aren't behind that door from upstairs. Oh, save point. Let's get this quickly. Alright, let's get in the lift. Get in the lift. Get in the lift. And let's hopefully get to where Ricardo, if he's not being killed. Because he got cut off talking to us. Which went. <coughs> mid-speech, so I don't know if it was that was his throat getting caught, or just the transmission. Oh, behind us. So, Ricardo was through those doors and to the right. It was where we last left him. Yeah. Alright, so. Fuck. Fuck. Oh god, the alien's right there, above us. Let's keep going, keep going. Is Ricardo in there? Ricardo. Oh, fuck, he's got an alien on his face. Oh, fuck. Ricardo. Oh no! Alien sucked into his face, can you believe it? Let's get the flamethrower out. That could mean that there's some of those things nearby to us. So we're trying to just keep pushing on here. Get through these doors. Save point again, give me that. I'm gonna actually end the video here guys, because I'm not too sure on how much time I spend outside in the spacesuit, because I'm gonna cut it down, but I'm on about 30 minutes right now so hopefully they won't be too long in the video so thanks for watching guys see you next time bye